Hello everybody and welcome to Tech Uploaded. I'm Chris and today I'm taking a look at the GeForce 337.5 beta driver. So with AMD coming out with Mantle, they've been getting a lot of attention lately and there's a lot of fanfare around their new API. And Nvidia decided they wanted in on some of the fun. So they released the 337.5 beta driver that's supposed to offer up to 71% more performance in optimized games. And they also threw in the GeForce Experience 2.0 package giving you quite a few new features, including the ability to do desktop capture. So I decided, why not go through and figure out just how much this driver lives up to the hype and run some benchmarks. So settings for these benchmarks were identical between both the prior driver and the 337.5 beta driver, and I had my 780 classified overclocked, adding 100 megahertz to the bus and 150 megahertz to the memory. So let's take a look at the benchmarks and see if this driver lives up to the hype. Okay, so as you can see, the results were actually a little bit weird. I got lower results on some of the benchmarks on the new driver than I did on the old driver. So that's a little bit strange, but I will preface that by saying of all of the benchmarks I ran, the only game that's actually on the list of optimized titles for this new driver was Tomb Raider. And that one was supposed to see about a 6% increase running on the new driver. And I did see a little bit of an increase on that game. So I think it really comes down to having games that are optimized for this new driver if you're really gonna see a performance increase. And to get that magical 71%, there was one title and that was running an SLI that was supposed to achieve that result. So my expectations weren't overly high going into it. And as a matter of fact, all the benchmarks fell so close that I would put them in a margin of error and just say that this was kind of a wash. I didn't see any kind of a boost. I didn't really see that much of a hit. I think everything's nice and even. Although I will say, I think I'm gonna stick with this beta driver because I really like the ability to do desktop capture in the new GeForce Experience Shadow Play. So all that said, nothing mind blowing here, nothing amazing. And hey, if you found this video helpful, you know the drill. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button. That would help me out quite a bit. And don't be a stranger, check back soon.